Hey guys, uh, do, doing a little video for uh, for a couple of people on uh, rchelp.com. Uh, you guys were asking, um, uh, more specifically, uh, Matthias and Sam, you guys were asking uh, about uh, the helicopter test stand that uh, Night Flyer did. His name is uh, Mr. Dave Herbert. Uh, absolutely a clever guy. Um, he, he does some really neat stuff. Um, shortly after I came across his video for the test stand, I wanted to make one. Uh, so I did. And the only thing that I had to buy uh, for it was uh, the pipe, um, you know, the, the, the vertical pipe and that flange. Uh, I think the flange was like five bucks. I think I paid, I don't know, 13 or 14 dollars for the pipe. Uh, the rest of the stuff I had here at the house. Um, I, for, the, for the most part, the entire stand is based on his plans. Uh, so some of it I changed just because you know some some of the stuff that he that, that uh, so, so some of the things that he did on his stand I, I didn't have and was just too lazy to go to the store and buy it so I just improvised with what I had here uh, the, um, the pipe that he used on his I, I believe it was a three quarter inch pipe and I think it's like two feet long the pipe I have is it, it's actually a, a one inch. No, it's, it's, a, it's a three quarter inch inside diameter pipe and it's three feet long. I just didn't cut it down. Um, and I, I bought the flange to match uh, the rest of the stuff I had here at the house. Uh, Sam, uh, you, uh, you, you, uh, something you were talking about is the base would, uh, would the you know, um, particle board or OSB be okay for the base? Uh, particle board, um, I, I probably wouldn't use that. This stuff, it's awful chintzy. Uh, I don't like using it. Using the OSB, yeah, you could be, probably get away with that. That, that that's that, that's you know the um, the, uh, the platform the OSB that I used, you know, seems to be working just fine. Uh, plywood would probably be the best. Um, the the uh, the platform uh, from uh, it's a 20, 24 inch diameter circle. Um, you you got your uh, here on the bottom. Um, so, so, so something that Mr. Herbert did on his, he has a bolt that runs from the bottom up to the top and the head of the bolt is down here on the bottom. Um, well, I, 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 did, I didn't do that. I, I just took a piece of all thread, oh, like four, four or five inches long, and I ran that up through the bottom. I put two, two nuts here on the bottom. There, there is a nut um, here on, on the inside and I, I just, I just cr cranked them tight and I put the pipe down on top of that. And so that that you know that that that, that keeps that that piece of all thread here in place. Um, now, if you, if you t t take a look at Mr. Herbert's video, you'll see that uh, the 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 bolt or the all thread that I used only sticks out so far to to give you you know to to, to give you um, you know just a little bit of play. It, 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 the, that bolt or all thread acts as your pivot point. Or your balance point, and so when when you have your helicopter up here, you know you, you can you can move it from side to side, but it's it, you know it's not gonna it's not gonna teeter over on you. Um, you know if you've got you know six six hundred dollar helicopter or a thousand dollar helicopter on here, you don't want this flipping over. Um, let's see, I think it was Sam. Yes, Sam, you uh, I believe it was you that was talking about what would would this work for for a six hundred size helicopter. Yeah, it probably would. Uh, I, I would probably go with, with a bigger diameter uh, rod up here and uh, c certainly s um, s some kind of better uh, platform for, it to, uh, for your helicopter to sit on. And I, I would definitely do, do something to, to you know, really make sure that your helicopter stays secure to that. Um, what, uh, so something that Mr. Herbert did, he had these um, uh, pieces of uh, it's real spongy foam, um, you know, put around the base uh, to act as a, as a, like a shock absorber as it's as the platform is teetering from one side to the other. Now, the the, um, the the green foam here, I actually have quite a bit of that here. I got it from work. It's just packing foam, and I just cut some squares and glued them on there. Um, but uh, um, now I, I believe it was um, Matthias. You were talking about um, you know, can you drill a hole uh, th through the pipe with any drill bit? Yeah, probably. Um, 
it probably, it's probably not going to do your drill bit any any good. Uh, but yeah, you, you can get through it. Uh, I, I if, if, if um, to put that hole through there, um, I uh, personally I, I I would probably get a drill press out and use it with a, and you know, put the pipe in a in like a, a bench type clamp uh, and then and then then use your drill press that, that way you can get through through the pipe um, you know sit, sit, sit safely and you're not going to screw anything up. Uh, the rest of all, all this up here, I pretty much did the same way he did. I've got my bungee cord attached uh, to, to the pipe with a hose clamp here, and uh, to, to my to my upper rod here with a hose clamp. Uh, so, so something that he, that Mr. Herbert talked about using these hose clamps is it's actually a really good idea because you, you, it's adjustable. You know, say say you know you've got your helicopter and you you, you you just maybe you feel like you're going up too high. I'll take this hose clamp here and, and, and bring your bungee down a little further so it doesn't go up so high. Um, so something I didn't do, you know, I, I, I kind of wandered off what I was talking about, but the, the, uh, put that hole down here, this is something I, I didn't do. My, my, my springs, they're actually sitting down here in the bottom in my dowel rod. I mean, it's, it's probably a three foot dowel rod, you know, itself. It goes from up here to probably about down here, and then my, my springs are down here, just kind of bouncing up and down on, on the um, on that piece of all thread I put down here. Uh, so that's pretty much my test stand um, to, to attach. See, I've, I've got my, my T-Rex 500 over here. Um, the way I attach my 500 uh, to my test stand, you know, bring the camera over here. Uh, what, what, what I did is I, I put my 500 up here and then I just made a couple of marks on each side of the landing skids and then I put my helicopter on here and then I just run uh, zip ties uh, through these holes so it goes up and over the landing skids and you know it, it, it keeps the 500 on here and uh, it's kind of spooky at first because I mean, it's, it is doing all this moving around but I, you know, I think I've had my helicopter on here six or seven times and I, and I haven't I, ha I haven't once felt that it's gonna fall over or flip over or you know something bad happens so um, do, 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 I, do I feel confident that this will work with you know helicopters up to up to my 500 yeah uh, 600 uh, I don't know yeah I, I'd probably probably definitely put you know some some weight down there on the base uh, just to, just to make sure um, you know that it's not gonna fall over because I mean and you know, certainly make make sure that you've got plenty of room around you, because um, the blade diameter from tip to tip on my 500 is uh, uh, thir I think it's like thir 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 38 inches. I mean, it's three feet two inches, and I know that the 600 is quite a bit more. Uh, so if you if you if you're gonna make one of these for your 600, um, I would definitely make it a bit more beefy. Your, your base diameter I might go a little bigger. Uh, maybe, maybe a three foot diameter. Um, your upper plate, I would definitely go with something, you know, probably three, three eighths to half inch. Um, and then as far as holding it down, um, I don't know, you could probably use zip ties as long as your upper piece is, is thick enough. Uh, I, I think I would look for something a little, a bit more stronger just to make sure, you know, something bad's not going to happen. Um, you know, possibly even put on two two bungee cords. Um, I I don't know. I mean, do, do you need it? I don't know, but better safe than sorry. So uh, that's that, that's that's pretty much my test stand. Now, something else I want to show you. Come over here. Um, I, I was I was telling Matthias about uh, my gyro test stand. Um, I forget who it was that I saw on the internet that that made that that made a gyro test stand like this. And I thought, well, yeah, that's that's kind of cool, and you know, it's it's pretty simple actually. Um, what what I did is I um, I've got some three quarter inch. Uh, this is actually cabinet grade birch. Uh, it's actually a couple of cutoffs left over from a fish tank stand that I made for my wife. And um, the the base here, let's see, that's that's like twelve inches there, and eighteen and a half inches there. I mean, I probably didn't measure it, you know to be anything, it just kind of, that's the way it was. Um, my, my, cir my circle up here, that, uh, my, my circle platform, it's, it's uh, thir 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 13 inches in diameter. And what I did is I, I, I went over to Lowe's and I bought um, 
I think it's like a ten and a half or a, a ten and a half inch diameter or eleven inch diameter Lazy Susan. Now, you get you guys know what a Lazy Susan is. Uh, if you don't, um, do a Google search for it. Uh, they're cheap. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. It comes with your mounting hardware. And what you do is you t you take your Lazy Susan and you mount it to uh, to this to your circular platform. Um, no, you 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 you, um, you mount it to to your base platform with your upper bolts coming through and then I then then you just put put a couple of nuts down on top of there um, then you know you, you get, you know, power up your helicopter and um, just just start playing around with the rudder and at, you know as you as you're moving your rudder this this turns you know around complete you know complete 360 degrees uh, something I something I would suggest um, See, I've got a couple of holes marked on each of the four corners. These four corners, I've got uh, screws or screw holes that, that I, I screwed down to a, a bigger piece of wood that, that I actually had sitting on, on my sawhorses here a couple weeks ago. Um, just because I, I mean, the, the birch, it's pretty heavy stuff, but you know, I, I, I really don't want this wandering off. So I, I took this and I screwed it down to something more secure. So anyway, um, you know, sa sa safety first, right? Um, but, uh, you know, to, to, to mount my help to keep my helicopter on my test stand, I actually just had some scrap pieces of aluminum and I just cut them, you know, about, about a quarter inch to half inch longer than my, than the width of my landing skids, drilled a couple of holes through, uh, the tops and I put them on my platform and I marked where those holes were and I ran, ran these other bolts up through so that I could, I could tighten these down. And my, my helicopter, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's on there. It's, it's not coming off. But, um, you know, if you, if you're playing around with your, your, your gyro settings, you're playing around with your rudder or whatever, you know, something like this, real, real cheap to make. Uh, do you need the three quarter inch board? Probably not. I mean, you could probably get away with quarter inch. Just make, make sure, make sure you screw it down so that, you know, nothing bad happens. But, uh, no, that's pretty much it. Because I mean, you get you get plenty of plenty of free movement um, fr from the lazy Susan. Uh, so, so, um, so, something I am going to say: when you first get your lazy Susan, um, and you know before, before before you mount it to anything, um, take some like uh, Teflon grease or you know petroleum jelly or something like that, and just put you know pa pack that in, pack that uh, petroleum jelly or so, something like that. You know the, where where the bearings are, just to keep this moving. Because uh, that was something I didn't do at first, and I noticed it just kind of started binding up, and it took took me a couple of days to realize, you know, what you know what I hadn't done. So I took this all apart and I put that grease in there, uh, put it all back together, put my helicopter on here, spun it up, and man, it, and it's it's just it's super smooth. And you know, you, you spin this up, you're playing around with your <clears throat> with your your tail rudder, and it just zzzz, it just spins around no problem. Um, so, um, you got my, my test stand, you got my, my gyro test stand, and they, they, they both work real good uh, for the 500s. Uh, something I did want to say, um, Sam, uh, you were talking about the 600s on the, on the test stand. Um, again, you know, be, if, if, if you're going to put one of these together, um, d definitely beef it up, because based on Mr. Herbert's plans for this, he, he was putting his... Uh, blade 400 on this. Now the blade 400 only weighs like it's uh, 23 and a half ounces. That's 1.4 pounds. Now I did a Google search for a T-Rex 600, and the first one that came up was a T-Rex T-Rex 600 E Pro to the DFC combo. Now the weight on that is 80.7 ounces. That's five pounds. It's a bit more than what this weighs, and it just you know if you're gonna put your 600 on something like this make it stronger, make it tougher, and definitely put some weight down on the bottom. I mean, you, 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 got, you guys have seen those helicopter videos. You guys, you know, you, you, guys, you guys that fly your 600s, you know what kind of power they have. Um, they're, just, they're just unreal. Um, they're awesome, but they're unreal. Um, so yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna do this with a 600, just be real careful. So, okay, hey, I appreciate you guys looking. Um, um, Matthias, I sure hope that I answered some questions about the test stand. 
Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. I, I'll do what I can to help. Uh, appreciate you watching.